Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. It has been like a month or something ridiculous. Also, before we start, apologies, my, my hair is, um, I, I don't even know what, what this is. What, what even, it's proper springing like crazy. So, do excuse me, we're getting closer to me getting a haircut. And then I'll be back to normal, finally, four months, this is. So, it's almost going back to like palm tree if anybody remembers that. But here we are in Jurassic World Life. Why are we in Jurassic World Life? Well, as you can see at the bottom, we have a free incubator to open, that's it, yay! So this is like um, the April Fool event is still going on, but you can buy and get a dodo emote. <laughs> But really, you can actually fight against a dodo. Oh, there's a T-Rex over there. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, this, uh, what's it called? The Fool Strike. So if we click on it, we're taking on a level 30 legendary dodo. So we have three chances to uh, kill this thing. It is 18,000 thousand health. <laughs> uh, spiteful Strike, Nasty Return. Fate Sealer, all-powerful dodo, cleanse reduced damage and reduced critical hit chance. What's that, like 3,750 attack uh, with a basically 80% chance of critting you, which is basically 100% chance at this rate. Um, we've got the dodo devastating peg, which does double uh, dodo remove cloak, dodge and shield. So no matter what you've done, it's going to get you. Uh, attack 5,000, bypassing armor as well. 50% uh, shield against four attacks, lasting one turn, but remembered forever. <laughs> like the little things are said afterwards for those two. Once we attack it, it increases damage by 15% for 30 attacks, lasting 15 unforgettable turns. Now, I think that's every time. I think maybe every counter goes up 50% damage, so it's going to be absolutely insane. So we need nullifying. So I think right at the bat, we need to go for Morton Rex, right? Morton Rex is going to do a crud ton of damage. Then after that... Um, oh, it's really kind of yeah, what we do because I'm thinking if we go for an Earl of Dominus, cool down, cool, there's a delay for the do devastating attack. So if we can get Earl of Dominus out first, like one giant hit with, you know, we could do almost 10,000 damage if we get a crit. That's all, oh, it's like over half of its health gone. So actually I think it's better if we do start with Earl of Dominus first. Then we do a Morton Rex, which can do a big hit and survive a 5,000. Although, however, let's be honest here, it's not looking too great. Oh man, this is really tricky. And pretty much, it's it's immune to everything. Uh, <laughs> there we go. We can tame the beast a little bit, I think. Not much, but just a little bit. All right, so we have three attempts to do this. I'm not expecting to do it first time. We'll put in Trichosaur, just because why not? And let's go. Let's go. Let's see. How does this battle fare? I'm not holding out much hope for this one. <laughs> it's more just like a fun little April Fool's thing we can do. We start with Early Dominus. We have to go for the cloak. And then once we've got the cloak. Oh, there it is. Oh, the old powerful dodo. Uh, so we'll go for cloak. Oh, we could have got a revenge cloak. Ooh. And done even more damage. That could have been cool. How is, is it? Oh, we got a crit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we, I think we just go for the, you know, do half damage basically right off the bat. Uh, didn't get a crit, which is a bit of a shame. Does it have armor? Counter extinction. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna give itself more attack. Um, then nasty return, which is definitely gonna kill us. Uh, so one dead and over half health gone, right? That doesn't seem too bad. Um, I think the next thing we go for, I kind of want to go for Morton Rex, however... With that extra attack, he's going to do 5,700 and what? 64, which would kill Morton Rex. Okay. So I think what we need to do here... Um, oh, man, this is this is really tricky. Because we could go for a nullify. But if we go for a nullify, it makes no difference. Because if he goes for the biggest hit... We could go for Fate. If he goes for Fate Sealer, we're not too bad. You know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to reduce his attack a little bit. Because I'd rather do that and, you know, he still gets his counter extinction up. Because if we went for nullify, it would make a difference. He would just be back where he, is, where he is. But hopefully this way, we've taken away some of his attack. Oh, yes. Oh, that's perfect. If we get a crit, we killed him. Oh, what up? What up? What up? I knew it would go 15% each time. Oh, my God. 
So the longer the battle goes on... Oh, Fate Sealer! I mean, yes, he gets more attack and crit, but no speed. I mean, what's his attack on now? 4,888! Oh, my God! Well, he's dead. We'll just go for regular hit. There you go. Done. <laughs> oh, they're, they're gonna have to bring the Dodo in, right? They made an entire model for the Dodo and animations and everything. And they're not gonna have it in the game? That's crazy! What dedication! That's awesome! Oh, God, it was the Thornax for a second. So we got a badge uh, for participating. And I guess winning, I suppose. Uh, anything good? Oh, we've got some legendary DNA. Oh, I do not need Baryonyx. Uh, you know what? I'll take T-Rex. And the legendary is... Is Dodo? Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> it's blow up. Like, no, no, no! <laughs> okay. So, if we have a look, I know I'm, I'm late to the party, but coming up tomorrow is still the same. So, we've got Myasaura Edmontogonodon, because this hasn't clocked over yet, because I'm still on the Wednesday to Thursday, because I'm doing this in the morning, which I never record in the morning. Um, and then on Sunday, we have a chance for Paramolock and Tonotto Rex. So, well, I think you get to dart one, one attempt for each. So, Tenor Rex is not a bad one to get if you haven't maxed it up already. And Paramolok, I think, does that get fused into something? Is it uh, Turamolok? I think it's Turamolok, yeah. So, that's not too bad at all. Um, but the biggest thing we're going to be looking over today is, as you can see, at the bottom, we have 11 dinosaurs ready to create. And what does that mean? What could that mean? Oh, well, I'm about to show you. If I can get to the bottom. There we go. I have basically everything but two dinos unlocked. I am 10 off Gorgotrebex. I actually have faced it in a battle. Um, and I have unlocked Sarah Magnus as well. So we'll save those to last. And of course, we've got the new the new dinosaurs that were released as well. So we've got Arcocanthops. Um, I feel like I've seen this guy in like um, a top list. Uh, one of the top players had this guy. Don't know if he's any good. Um, revenge, stun, I guess, isn't too bad. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, so we're basically going to unlock everything. Um, I also want to have a look at one of the eating animations for one of the new, new dinosaurs. I think it's the Oviraptor. Because it is so brutal. I don't know how... How Ludi were like, yeah, we'll put that in the game. That, that's, that's nice. Um, so we've got this thing as well. The Ankylodicurus. Ankylodicyrus. Sycorus. Ankylodicyrus. Oh my god, that looks like the devil. Wow. Okay. He's got like soulless eyes. Oh, that's made from that thing. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is one of the new ones. The Dakota Raptor. The Utah Raptor, Dakota Raptor. We've got all the raptors now on their feathered even. Ah. Uh, Jim Kirkland would be proud. Um... Let's see what else we've got. So we've got the Sarah Magnus, but I'm holding on to that. We've got this thing as well, the uh, Ovalosaurus. Ovalophosaurus, sorry. <laughs> it's frills like made out of feathers. That's pretty cool. Instead of it being like a... Oh, and it's got like physics. Oh, that is sweet. Devious strike. Also got this thing. I think this is unique. Oh, it is unique. The Pucandactylus. Um, I think we managed to get this from a tournament. If I remember right. So yeah, I don't I don't even I don't have anything to create this, I don't think. Do I? Do I have the No, I haven't even got the right ones to level up, but we have it unlocked, which is always good. Because if there's a certain turn tournament or, you know, battle system that puts everything to level 26, at least we've got it unlocked. Uh, so this was one of the new ones. This is it. This is the one with the crazy animation for eating a goat. Uh Ringinia! Ringinia! And then we've got this thing. Uh, the Stegosaurus. Uh, I think they're just like, you know, we're just gonna have loads of random dinosaurs for this new pack that's coming out. Strange that it's like four, four dinosaurs. Um, no hybrids, actually. Um, all the, I mean, it seems like they're laying a foundation, right? They're laying a foundation for more hybrids and stuff. Because these are all legendary. Like the Struthia Mimus as well. Bumped into one of these the other day. Um, just outside me house. I was like, oh, there's one. Okay, I'll dart that. Uh, that's why I've got a fair amount of DNA for that one. Because I got them all just over creating them. Hey! Globe Trotter achievement! Um, I wonder what that means. And here we go. The lamb. It was, oh, it's sin, sinto, sinto, Sintosaurus? Sintosaurus? I thought it was uh, going to be a Lambiosaurus with that head, but it's not. Is it a little bit furry? Looks like it might have a little bit of fur on it. Okay, Sintosaurus. 
Group cleansing strike, strike, group ferocity strike, and a cooldown. And it is immune to a lot of vulnerability. Hmm. Don't know why you'd be immune to that, but hey, it's better than nothing. And finally, the one we've all been waiting for. I have seen this in so many battles. Um, the Serum Magnus. So, I'm noticing, I think this guy is, um, is being swapped out basically for, um, Model Orion. So, base 1,500. So, as soon as you swap it in, you get the swap in stunning. Um, you're also immune to stun and immune to speed in uh, degrees, which is really good. Um, you also can do group accelerating straight off the bat. So, it's, you know, 1,500 again. So, you swap in... And hopefully you stun the, the dinosaur or creature. And then you go for a group accelerating. So you do another 1,500. So it's 3,000 damage, you know, if it doesn't have armor. Um, straight off the bat. Um, it's got decent speed. It's got decent health. So if we have a look at that. I, 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 and I don't I don't know what that thing is. The uh, Are we going to scroll? I was going to say, oh, God. The frames. We have this guy. This is level 27. He does, I think, 1,300. So already, I think it's less than the Sarah Magnus. Um, hmm. It's, uh, maybe it's too fast. It probably has a little bit more health. Um, does the same kind of stun thing. Uh, it is immune to stun. Um, it does have some good reduction to a lot of things, actually. Oh, wow. Um, I never, I, I mean, it's in my team, but I very rarely use it. Um, or get a chance to use it. So it has 30% armor and 5% crit chance. I'm tempted. I'm going to switch it out. I'm going to switch you out for uh, Sarah Magnus. Um, I think I've seen... I don't know what boost to put on this guy. Um, because it's kind of like... It's still early days. I can put 4 attacks on. 10 uh, speeds on. And 24 health on. Wow, I have exactly 2... Wow, okay. <laughs> I have so much health. So much health. Uh, so we'll quickly open up this. As you can see, I am still in Lockwood Manor. The more time goes on, the lower I go down, it appears. It's great. I love this game. <laughs> 22 map Roger. Okie dokie. So now what I want to do, we'll quickly go into our, um, sanctuaries. Also, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has, is helping out in our alliance. At three level 20s. Uh, I, I don't know whereabouts it is, this guy. It's in here somewhere, though. It's in one of these. There he is. Okay, you ready for the most gruesome friggin' what do you call it? Uh, eating animation ever? It's horrible. I remember I was just like randomly like da, 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 da. then I, I caught my this caught my eye and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, oh god! It's so horrible. It's like, why? Why are you doing the button? Who it looks like it could just eat eggs, but why? Okay, we'll just make it kill the goat and like pull out like a bloomin' a fish or god. It looks like a fish from inside. It's horrible. Jesus. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a battle, and hopefully, I I do want to try out. Oh, I might as well donate a little bit of diametrodon. I do want to try out uh, Sarah Magnus. Um, I'm probably just gonna do it in the same way that I normally do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. It seems to be okay with certain things, but scrolling. Ooh, not happy. We're going to battle. Thank you. So I'm going to try and, like, use it as in a swap in and then group acceleration or, you know, see what if I can kind of use it in a good a good circumstance. Probably won't be able to, though. Uh, but let's give this a shot. Sarah Magnus. Ah, oh, I got two of the other ones. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I love starting with uh, Morton Rex. Never a good thing to do. Um, he's probably going to go for a cloak here, I would say. What's his attack? 2,000. He's probably going to... If I was him, I'd just go for it. Oh, he's going to go for a rampage and hoping for the crit? Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. I mean... Oh, but look at that. Okay, so my Morton Rex is level 29. That's his attack. 3,472. <laughs> Oh, no. Do you think he's going to go for a big hit or the tiniest hit? You've got to go for the big hit, right? Okay, I was going to say. I was tempted to switch out, but glad I didn't. So now, I, we've got a good counter for this. We, Magnetator's pretty good. We can just go for the uh, distraction. Um, 
Oh, I was hoping he'd go for instant rampage, but uh, he's probably going to go for that next turn. So he's going to go for the big one. Does not get the crit, unfortunate. Um, and now we've just got to go for the big hit. Now we'll go for instant charge and whatever, just to make to do some damage. That's all you do with Thordal. It's like you switch it into a point where you know it can survive at least one hit, and then you know you're going to... Like, why did you take so long to think about that? Like, it was obvious he was going to go for it. Now, we're above the threshold for a Draco Ceratops to switch in and kill us, which is good. And we're also above the threshold of most things to switch in and do a hit and survive. So, we're definitely going to get some big hit off here. Um, unfortunately, <sighs> um, hmm, hmm. What's his attack? 2,300. So, I'm tempted here. I'm tempted. You know, I'm going to win. Like, I don't have a counter for this. Um... Now, I know he's probably going to go... For oh, he went for a fear strike. Okay, interesting. So we're going to do some damage here. There's some damage. Now he's not... I think he can kill me in one hit. Oh, I'm one health up. Do you think he'll go for it? Do you think he'll go for a resilient strike? <laughs> I'm just whittling him down. I'm going to whittle him down. Um, oh, I was, I was hoping he wasn't going to do that. But fair enough, fair enough. I'll take it, I'll take it. So we're going to go for medium. So we're just doing even slightly more damage. Um, do I switch back out to Dijon and hopefully survive one to one health? Oh, man. I, I think he'll know I he I'll heal. I he'll know I'm going to heal. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to take another hit. Um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad. Okay, so we're just going to whittle this guy down. Uh, so we're going to do another little hit now. Um, do you think he'll go for a big hit? Or do you think he'll go for a little one? What do you think? What do you think? Um... <laughs> Fingers crossed he goes for the little hit. I hope he goes for the little hit. Please do it. Ah, damn it! <laughs> that would have been great. Okay, well, I mean, we've definitely lost. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Uh, <laughs> just got to go for the gray heal. Um, and we're going to do some damage to him. Because he's going to go for resilient. Yep, okay, that's fine. Doesn't get a crit. I mean, we're dead in the next hit either way. Um, hopefully it goes for instant invincibility. Right, I think we're pretty good. I think maybe we might be able to kill him. Oh, we can kill him! So I'm just gonna go for Rampage here. Um, oh, it worked! No way! It actually worked! I willed him down! <laughs> I did not have an answer for that. I really didn't. But every little bit I did to him... The Dijon to do the counter. The the three counters from the... Oh my god. That worked out way better than I could have imagined. Okay, so we're gonna do... We're gonna keep on going until we get Sarah Magnus. So I'll, I'll uh, be right back. Hey! Oh, okay, it's not... It's not a bad team. Right, so... Utaranex is kind of an okay one to start with. Um, ooh, it's, oh, it's not faster. I'm used to seeing these guys faster than me. I, you know what? I use. I, I, it's not too uncommon to face up against one of these. Because they are actually really good. Um, especially boosted and at level 30. Uh, they have a good utility. Um, so we can go for like a killer move here. At the same time, um, I could reduce his attack even more. I'm going to go for the killer move. I'm going to go for kill. Okay, so there we go. We've already got well, one up. And we've got a Utara next that has a decent amount of health that could probably tank something and survive. So now we're a little bit disadvantaged here, even though we're one up, because he can be like, okay, I'll put Trico in. Worst case scenario, something with a lot of armor. Um, Earl of Dominus isn't the best. Ooh, Ardennis Maxima even. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um, should we just go for a big hit here? He's probably going to go for Resilient Strike, right? It's probably going to go for Resilient Strike. So I may as well just go for a big hit. That's what I'm just going to go for a big hit. Hope we get the crit. Do get the crit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, it's the safest option because he knows that he'll go um, He'll go first next time. I mean, I don't know what at speed it is. 125 and I am on 121. Ho, oh, oh! ho! It wasn't a guarantee. Like, okay, so now he'll go for hopefully the big hit. Um... Ooh, group decelerate. I guess, yeah, like, why not, I suppose? Um, right, I think we are in with a chance here. Um, right, what's really good now, we got rid of the Dominus, which means that when we do the Rampage and Run with Utaranex, it means we switch in, we get a free switch into Hadrosaur Lutz. So, 
here we go. We're, we're back up, back to Utah, Renex. We're doing good. Um, I kind of want to get the finisher with Sarah Magnus. I want, I want to see if I can do that. Trico. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. So I'm not going to go for the instant stun. I'm just going to go for this. So we get a big hit off. Uh, he does get a counter. And then Hadrosaur Lux comes in, gets it, and then hits him again. And then we can go for um, the greater heal. And then hit him again. And then Sarah Magnus can come in. Hopefully stun him. And then go for group accelerating. So there you go. There's another hit. Um, another 700 is not going to take us to the point where we are guaranteed a kill straight away with Sarah Magnus. Uh, so here we go. Now he's going to do the biggest hit. Yep. Who didn't see that coming? Does get the crit. Ho! Oh, oh, ho! My god! Oh, that was scary. Okay. So there you go. 1,700. Uh, and then we're going to switch into Sarah Magnus. Sarah Magnus. Come on, Sarah. There we go. Okay, we're going to go for the hit. Whoosh. Do we get the stun, though? We get the stun. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. He's um, he's not decelerated anymore, however. And now we're going to go for the group accelerating. And we did it. We won with Sarah Magnus. No way. There you have it. Maybe he hasn't faced it. Maybe he didn't realize I was going to do that. And that I would get the speed superiority. But there you have it. Oh, that was good. If that was Mon Orion, I would have been in big trouble because he would have went for a big hit and probably killed me in one bite. But because we have that priority uh, move with the group accelerating, we won that. Oh my God, we did that. 5,469. Well, what a number to end on it. <laughs> okay, that is going to wrap it up. We, we've unlocked so many uh, creatures. If you uh, have any uh, boosts that you think I should put on my dinosaurs, uh, leave it in the comments below. Also, do not forget in the comments down in the description below, um, there is a link so you can get free books in this game. And uh, that helps support the channel, I think. Um, I don't actually know. Is this something people say? Uh, Ludia gave it to me and I was like, hey, I use my own code, so why not? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>